Hey, there you are. Uh, Jeff Lyons, Hudson Mill Hattie Man. And um, this is what I've got set up here are some tools. And this is kind of what I would say if you're going to, uh, if you're just starting to do the handiwork or um, just repairs around the home, these are probably will be your most useful tools going forward. Um, and, and right now I'm going to start with probably the um, probably the number one most used and even if you don't get into the handy doing a lot of handy work or trying to do your own work at home this particular tool I suggest if you do have a home that this is probably your first purchase um, it's about a hundred dollars you can get one right around that price a good one a decent one you can get them for cheaper than that I wouldn't recommend going much lower than that. Um, but this is a cordless drill, and it is probably your number one tool that you'll find useful. This didn't used to be um, just probably in the last 15, 10 to 15 years, this has really become the number one tool used by most homeowners uh, for repairs. So, number one tool. Uh, also check uh, Red Green calls us the uh, number one tool too. So, you can check that out. So now going next, uh, probably very useful um, is a tape measure. Now, I'm kind of going in order of probably how you should purchase these. Uh, it, it's debatable. Uh, the, the screwdrivers have kind of become a little bit obsolete because of this. However, they are handy. Um, there, you can use these. These are there's two types. You've got um, you've got a standard, which has I'll move in a little bit closer. The standard has a straight and flat end, and the other type is what's called a Phillips. The Phillips kind of has a X pattern on the end. Now this one is pretty much kind of been come obsolete because of this. Now the work that this does, you know, you can do pretty much with these, um, but if you have a lot of screws to put in, uh, the cordless is probably your best bet. So, next. Hammer. This actually is still pretty handy, um, despite that a lot of the work that you used to do with this can be done with this. However, if you've got stuff to tear apart, um, this, this part of the hammer, which is called the claw, um, is very useful. So, but I still use this hammer quite a bit, even though I have the cordless. Now, wrenches. Um, I suggest monkey wrenches um, or adjustables. Um, my wife calls them spanners. That's the English term. But the nice thing about these is they work for metric, metric or regular. So, um, they're very adjustable, and that's why I suggest these. Eventually, you'll want to maybe get yourself a socket set. Then, I have here what is called a speed level. Bring that a little bit closer. And this is pretty handy. It's not designed to work for very long spans, but... Um, it's definitely pretty good for um, if you really want to make sure your pictures are hanging straight um, or small projects. Now next, I have two types of squares. This particular one is called a carpenter square and it is useful for larger projects or squaring up um, walls 
Uh, not over long distance, but if you've just got a short wall, this can square up a corner. Um, this particular square is called a speed square. And this speed square is good for squaring up an edge. Uh, generally stuff uh, like 2x4s or 2x6s uh, works real well, or 1x. So this is a speed square, this is carpenter square. Now, um, in the past, probably same as the years that this has become handy, that, that 15 to 10, 10 to 15 years, um, the price on this particular saw, which is called a carpenter saw, a skill saw or a carpenter saw, and this prices of these have really come down for a good one. Um, this particular one I think I paid about 175 um, and this is a port cable. But you don't have to spend that kind of price. And I believe you can get them around, you know, a decent one, probably around 100 bucks. Now, um, this particular tool um, replaced just using a basic handsaw, cross cut, or um, which is still you can still use, um, but for the price, uh, I think this is very, uh, very handy and useful. Keep in mind, um, good idea to do a little research or get with your hardware store. Uh, maybe they have classes. This is definitely. A tool that can hurt you. So I wouldn't suggest just going out and picking one up and trying to use it. You definitely should get some help with this. Um, if you know someone who is skilled uh, in carpentry and handyman, this I definitely would suggest that you get some help with initially until you learn the ins and outs because this can hurt you. Um, and as we go forward, there will be a lot of tools that I may talk about, and I'm definitely going to suggest that you get some help with somebody that's knowledgeable. Um, so going forward, this is definitely probably, out of all your basic tools, is going to be your last purchase. And along with this, you're probably going to want a decent heavy-duty extension cord. So, there you kind of have it. Um, these are kind of the basic tools that I would re recommend going forward. I think all of this probably could be purchased um, probably for under $400. Uh, seems like a high price tag. Um, but you could, by doing just one basic project, could probably save that $400 by not hiring that project out. So remember, I may not be perfect, but I am handy.